Hello and welcome to Rando Tech Info and our review of the CMF Watch Pro 2. Nine months ago, I reviewed the original CMF Watch Pro and while that watch did have some things going for it, it also had some issues that prevented me from giving it a full-on recommendation. And unfortunately, this watch not only retains many of those issues, but there's a whole slew of new issues, problems, and bugs that we need to talk about. That doesn't sound good. But for the sake of positivity, let's start out with what's good about the CMF Watch Pro 2. It's lightweight and comfortable to wear. It's smaller and I think more fashion forward than the original CMF watch. And you can even swap out the bezel along with the watch band with other options you can purchase on CMF's website. And those watch bands are just standard 22 millimeter straps. So you can buy or replace them from almost anywhere. And unlike the first CMF watch, they are pretty easy to swap out. The 1.32 inch AMOLED display looks nice, has acceptably sized bezels, has a bunch of watch face options, and gets nice and bright if you manually set the brightness. More on that later. We'll stick around. Raise to wake works well and the whole watch is actually pretty responsive in general. The UI is easy to navigate, especially with the fully functional digital crown. It has an IP68 water and dust resistance rating, decent haptics. The lack of app store access isn't much of an issue since most of the apps you would ever probably need come pre-installed. It has highly customizable tiles and widgets, has music control for your tunes. You can change unit settings, something the original watch was missing at the time of its release. There's a ton of different workouts and exercises to choose from, and you can sync your exercise data with Strava and Google Health Connect. Although you probably won't actually want to. More on that later. The CMF Watch app the watch pairs through is available on both the Google Play and Apple App Stores, so it's Android and iOS friendly. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, you get all of these features for under 70 bucks, which is pretty great. So what's the problem? Well, sadly, there are a lot of problems and I guess we should just start from the beginning. Pairing the watch to my phone was not exactly a smooth experience. At first, I tried pairing the watch to my Z Fold 6, and after two failed attempts and factory resets, I finally gave up. So I decided to see if my luck would change trying to pair it up with my S24 Ultra. And with that phone, the watch paired right away, but it thought it was the original CMF watch, so I couldn't change any of the watch faces. So I unpaired and factory reset the watch again, and finally, the second time, it worked. Thank the maker. However, my setup aggravations didn't end there because the watch then took over one hour to download and install the latest update. So not the best of starts. I should say not. The next thing I tried to set up was the watch face. And as I mentioned before, there are a nice variety of watch faces to choose from. And I was excited to try out the watch's auto brightness feature, which was missing on the original CMF watch. And while the feature does technically work on the new watch, it never seemed to make the watch face bright enough. So I sadly just wound up turning it off. And unfortunately, this was the first of many features on this watch that either didn't work well or didn't work at all. And the next such issue is notifications. My biggest issue with the last CMF watch was it wouldn't stay connected to my phone, which caused me to miss a bunch of texts and notifications, and unfortunately this issue has not been resolved with the sequel. Watch 2 connectivity is just as consistently inconsistent, and most notifications from my phone simply never make it to my watch. However, even when the watch does stay connected, it doesn't support RCS, so if you want to receive any text messages, you will need to make sure that the feature is disabled on your messaging app of choice. The watch has a speaker and mic, so you can theoretically take calls with it, but I couldn't get that to work. There is a smart enable for the always on display, but that never seemed to work. It has quick gestures, but I could only get one of them to work. The watch is supposed to have built-in GPS tracking, but I couldn't get that to work. Automated workout detection never worked when I was actually running or walking, but the watch thought I was on a bike ride almost every time I went anywhere in my car. Not that that even really matters, because the fitness and sleep tracking on the watch doesn't seem to be particularly accurate anyway. And finally, just to add insult to injury, right before I stopped using the watch, while I was doing some final data recording with the app on my phone, it completely locked up. So if it seems like my time with the CMF Watch Pro 2 is frustrating, you would be right. Good grief. And there are some other less egregious issues that the watch has as well. All right, let me have it. As I mentioned earlier, the lack of App Store access isn't a big deal since most of the apps you would ever want come installed out of the box. But like on the first watch, you still can't reorder the apps or choose favorites. So you are stuck with the app drawer as is. Like the original watch, you can't multitask, so if you do something like start a timer, you have to complete that activity before you can move on to something else. There's no NFC for contactless payments. And then there's the battery life. While CMF claims you can get 11 days of battery life out of the Watch Pro 2, I was able to get less than four. Now when defense of the watch, I did have the always on display and raise to wake turned on. And I also cranked up some of the health tracking options. But with those same settings on the original CMF watch, I was able to get eight days of battery life. So this definitely feels like a step backwards. So at the end of the day, I think it's safe to say I was pretty disappointed with CMF's latest wearable offering, which is not only a shame, 
It's surprising. I really enjoyed my time reviewing the Nothing Phone 2, and I think the current combined Nothing and CMF line of Bluetooth earbuds are the best and most complete line of earbuds on the market today. I even like their 65 watt power brick, and I have purchased one on more than one occasion, which makes it all the more surprising they can't seem to deliver a better and more consistent wearable experience. Maybe the third time will be the charm and CMF will hit Pater with the Watch 3, but until then, I do think there are better options out there, even at this price point. Unexpected this is. And unfortunate. But that's only my opinion. If you have spent any time with the CMF Watch Pro 2, I would really love to hear about your experiences down in the comments. That way we can all continue to learn from each other and make more informed buying decisions. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. And until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.